What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in a living color from the Radio What Studios, and this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time, and if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com djlittlerock.com check availability and get a free price quote right there and maybe you can have me entertaining you at your next event let me entertain you Uh, and if you'd like to tell your story i encourage you to check out my other podcast what makes you famous find it everywhere using the hashtag what makes you famous let's learn some stuff right here on the program now on with the show Today on the program, 10 things you need to know today for Thursday, May 21st, 2020. 10 things you need to know today. Number one, study. Earlier lockdowns could have prevented most COVID-19 deaths. 36,000 fewer people would have died of COVID-19 in the United States by early May if the country had started social distancing one week earlier in March than it did, according to Columbia University disease modelers. If the policies had begun two weeks earlier, on March 1st, another 18,000 deaths could have been prevented, reducing the death tolls as of May 3rd by 83%, according to the new research, which was released Wednesday. Quote, that small moment in time catching it in that growth phase is incredibly critical, end quote, said Jeffrey Shaman, a Columbia epidemiologist who led the research team. The first imported U.S. case of COVID-19 was reported on January 20th, followed by a community transmission in February. Federal social distancing measures were enacted in mid-March. This is according to the New York Times. Number two, WHO reports biggest one-day increase in coronavirus cases yet. The World Health Organization on Wednesday said it had received reports of 106,000 new coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours, which WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said was, quote, the most in a single day since the outbreak began, end quote. He said that two-thirds of the cases were in four countries, which he didn't name. The U.S., Russia, Brazil, and the United Kingdom are the nations with the highest number of total cases. Quote, we still have a long way to go in this pandemic, end quote, Tedros said. The total number of coronavirus cases worldwide surpassed what another WHO official described as the, quote, tragic milestone end quote, of 5 million cases, reaching 5,011,467 early Thursday. According to John Hopkins University, the worldwide death toll reached 328,368, with 93,439 deaths in the U.S. This is according to NBC News and Johns Hopkins. Number three, Supreme Court blocks House access to Mueller documents. The Supreme Court on Wednesday temporarily blocked the House Judiciary Committee from obtaining secret grand jury materials from former special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. The committee issued an emergency request for the undisclosed files last summer. The Washington, D.C. Federal Appeals Court ruled in the committee's favor in March, but the Supreme Court ruled that the House panel could not access the material, including redacted portions of Mueller's report until the White House and the Justice Department had time for a full appeal. The decision will likely prevent the materials from being released until after the 2020 election. The appeals court said lawmakers had, quote, compelling need, end quote, to see the testimony. But the DOJ said the committee had no legitimate reason to request it. This is according to CNN and The Washington Post. Number four, Senate Republicans approve subpoena for Hunter Biden documents. The Republican-led Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee on Wednesday approved a subpoena for documents related to work done in Ukraine by presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden's son, Hunter. The party line vote came more than two months after the committee's chairman, Senator Ron Johnson, Republican Wisconsin, said he would seek documents regarding Hunter Biden's work for the Ukrainian energy company, Burisma, while his father was vice president. Democrats strongly objected, calling the demands for documents an overly partisan attempt 
to smear Biden as he prepares to challenge President Trump in the November election. This is according to the Washington Post and The Hill. (laughs) Number five, Trump threatens to withhold Michigan, Nevada funds over mail-in voting. President Trump on Wednesday threatened to withhold federal funds from Michigan and Nevada if they follow through on plans to expand voting by mail. Trump falsely accused the two states of voter fraud. He accused Michigan of sending mail ballots to its residents, which his aides later acknowledged wasn't true. Michigan's Secretary of State has sent registered voters ballots applications only, an increasingly common practice among state election officials. Trump later corrected his allegations against Michigan, but continued to accuse the Secretary of State there of acting illegally without supporting the claim. Nevada's Republican Secretary of State has declared the state's primary to be a nearly all mail-in election, so all registered voters in that state are getting ballots. This is according to the New York Times. Number six, Whitmer. Michigan will hold people responsible for dam failures. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Democrat, said Wednesday that the state will, quote, hold people responsible, end quote, for two dam failures. Tuesday, that caused severe flooding and forced 10,000 evacuations in areas along the Tibawasi River. Whitmer said the dam failures were a known threat and Michigan will review, quote, every legal recourse that we have, end quote, in its investigation into what caused the catastrophe. The governor promised to take aggressive action and procure aid from the Federal Emergency Management Agency and other federal outlets. The Midland, Michigan city manager said Wednesday evening's flooding was expected to be the peak. City officials said the river crested at about 35 feet, three feet lower than expected. This is according to the Detroit Free Press and M Live. Number seven, former Green Beret and son arrested over Gozen escape. Federal prosecutors on Wednesday charged former Green Beret and his son on suspicion that they helped former Nissan CEO and chairman Carlos Gilson flee Japan to evade a Tokyo trial for alleged financial crimes. The suspects, Michael Taylor and his son, Peter Taylor, were arrested for allegedly helping Gozan sneak out of Japan inside a musical equipment box. Gozan disappeared from his court-monitored house in December and later reappeared in Lebanon, where he holds citizenship. Gozan said he didn't think he would get a fair trial in Japan. The Wall Street Journal reported that it sought comment from the Taylor's lawyers, but they did not immediately respond. This is according to the Wall Street Journal and BBC News. Number eight, stock futures fall ahead of latest weekly jobless data. U.S. stock index futures fell early Thursday ahead of weekly unemployment figures could show that up to one in five Americans are now out of work. Economists expect the Labor Department to report that about 2.4 million people made initial applications for unemployment benefits last week. That would bring the total number of left jobless during the COVID-19 pandemic to nearly 40 million on a seasonally adjusted basis. Futures for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ were down by roughly 0.7% several hours before the opening bell. All three of the main U.S. indexes gained 1.5% or more on Wednesday in continued market volatility as all 50 states gradually reopened their economies despite concerns about a second wave of coronavirus infections. This is according to Market Watch and CNBC. Number nine. Ford temporarily closes two plants. Ford Motor Company on Wednesday briefly closed two U.S. assembly plants due to ongoing COVID-19 concerns. A truck plant in Dearborn, Michigan, was closed for cleaning after a worker tested positive for COVID-19. And a Chicago auto assembly plant was shut down because of a parts shortage. Ford had briefly closed the Chicago plant on Tuesday due to a positive coronavirus test. Ford did not provide specifics on the parts shortage, but a person familiar with the matter told Reuters that supplier Learcorp had closed an Indiana plant due to a positive coronavirus test. A Lear spokesman declined to comment on the report. The closures came after Ford, which is the number two U.S. automaker, and other car companies reopened some factories on Monday in an attempt to resume operations after widespread shutdowns due to the coronavirus pandemic. This is according to Reuters and the Free Press. Number 10. 
Cyclone Amphan kills at least 24 in Bangladesh and India. Cyclone Amphan, the first super cyclone to form over the Bay of Bengal since 1999, has left at least 24 people dead and destroyed thousands of homes in Bangladesh and India. The cyclone made landfall in eastern India on Wednesday afternoon. In Bangladesh, 2.4 million people in coastal areas were moved to 15,000 storm shelters. That included Rohingya refugees from Myanmar who were living on an island in the Bay of Bengal. West Bengal is the hardest hit Indian state and its chief minister, Mamata Banerjee, told reporters the situation, quote, is more worrying than the coronavirus pandemic. We don't know how to handle it. Area after area has been devastated. Communications are disrupted, end quote. Twelve of the storm-related deaths occurred in West Bengal. This is according to the Associated Press and Al Jazeera. That's 10 things you need to know today for Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Thank you for listening. This has been What Makes You Smarter. If you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. I hope everybody's doing reasonably well. Drop me some comments. Let me know what you're up to these days. That's it for me. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here. Peace. If you like what you hear, I encourage you to follow What Makes You Smarter on social media. Find it on Facebook at What Makes You Smarter, Instagram at What Makes You Smarter, Twitter at Smarter What, and YouTube. Username Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. Stitcher, Google Podcast, and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite? Learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Call 501 470 6386 and leave a message to set up a time for What Makes You Famous. Support what makes you smarter podcast using the paypal paypal.me forward slash keys dan email info at radio what.com what makes you smarter is a production of keys dan enterprises incorporated at keys thank you for listening